Hey there, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an appointment booking system or a calendar in your Shopify web store. So the steps I'm going to show you today actually requires a current subscription to Shopify. But if you want to try it out, just like I am doing here, you can start a free trial with Shopify in order to see the full benefits of having a Shopify subscription. Next, you're going to click on the Add Apps button on the left-hand side menu. And from here, this is where we're going to choose the application we're going to install into our Shopify store, which allows us to do Shopify bookings and calendars directly on our Shopify web store. So when you're on the Shopify app store, go ahead and search for booking. For the purposes of this video, we're going to go with the Appointment Booking Calendar app. Make sure you download the same thing that I'm downloading here. So go ahead and click on Install, and then choose the Shopify account you wish to install the application to. As you can see, even this application requires a, an all-access plan to unlock all the features that are available for this booking and calendar application. You can start a trial as well though, so for the purposes of this tutorial video, we're just going to skip ahead. Now that you've installed the appointment booking calendar application, we can access it on the left-hand side. Here we have the dashboard for the calendar app and click on the main button that says Enable the Calendar Widget. This will bring us to our Shopify store editor where we can edit the calendar widget into our Shopify store. On the left hand side, just make sure that it's enabled by clicking on the toggle button next to the calendar application. Now, after double checking that the calendar application is verified and toggled on, let's go back to the calendar dashboard. As you can see, the calendar application will make sure that you have at least one product in your Shopify store. Just follow the tutorials in this very convenient application by clicking Create a New Service. This calendar application is really useful when you're trying to sell services as opposed to just raw products. So here, you can create a new booking in the appointment booking calendar application. In order to start, choose select a product, and you're going to have to search for a product to add it to this store. For the purposes of this video, since we're using a tutorial account, we don't really have any actual products. so. Why don't we just add some? Since this is a subscription service, let's just create a quick subscription model product. We just have to fix the pricing here, fix the shipping, and create a sample product. Now that we have a product in our Shopify store, let's go back to the appointment booking calendar application dashboard in order to add this one product to our booking subscription. Okay, now that we've created our first subscription booking service, we now have a list of a calendar on the right-hand side, which details the type of booking that we'll have. As you can see, there are two different types of bookings, and there are different ways to personalize the booking page and widget. You can change the background color, set a meeting location if any, set the language, and even change the description of the service that we're selling. We can also choose a title for this product or booking that we've created. Of course, since this is a calendar product service, we also have to choose a duration, a time frame on the calendar, an av availability monitor, and there are so many other options that we can choose in order to fully personalize and create a subscription model that fits our Shopify store needs. Now that you've installed the widget, activated it, and created our first booking subscription, if we go to our store and check out our services, 
we can see that the My Store and our home page has the subscription with the price that we've set. And now people can avail of the subscription that we've created with this calendar application. A nice feature of this is that it allows the customer to choose a subscription model that fits their needs with a time frame that fits them. It's really intuitive and only takes a few clicks in order for a customer to complete and com verify a subscription. And there we go, that's really all there is to creating a calendar Shopify booking or subscription service and adding it to our store. If you have any other questions or inquiries regarding the steps shown in this video, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. Thanks again for watching and we'll definitely see you in the next one.